I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making decisions quickly. There are three reasons why you want to do this. First, train yourself to not get stuck in the paralysis of analysis. Also, train yourself to make quick decisions so that you can keep up the pace of the game if you play with people who are more experienced than you. And then finally, when you're ready to compete in a tournament, you'll be able to play the game without breaking a sweat. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five are going to be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14 and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Joker flower north south red pair eight here in bams pair six six eight those scream evens but we have no twos or fours I would focus on six seven eight nine and see if we can get sevens I would not pass two like that it's eight nine five six eight nine 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 let's let the nine dot go actually we do have some potential in here for, we can't keep it all. We have potential for three, six, nine. There's a three, three, six, nine, six, nine. Okay, I would break up the eights. So let's pass these three. Three, dragons, eight, six, six, dragon. Let's let this three go. Three, six, nine with sixes, maybe. Nine. We did get a three, but we just passed it. Let's pass these three. Nine. We did let that go. We still need tiles to pass. Here's a dragon. The dragons are off suit in this, unless we play like numbers with sixes. Let's let that go with the nine. Let's see, we have nine, nine, red. We could do nines with sixes. Okay, this one is kind of stumping me here. We have one to pass, we're going across. We have to pass. Let's stick with sixes. Whoa. Okay, so we got a two, eight, green. Okay, we have two times to pass, six, six, Nine, three, six, nine, three, six, six, nine. Let's let that go. Nine dot. Oh my goodness, this one was really tough. Nine band, five dot, nine dot, three, six, nine. I would pass two. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at. Oh man, this one. This one, I went over time, big time. That one was complex. Look though, we have all keepers. And I never looked at the card. Oh my gosh, that was complex. Which is why you wanna do this exercise. Okay, so I would probably, let's see. We have nines. We let a red dragon go, but we kind of were at a place where we, we're in between sixes and nines. We have two threes here. Three cracks, six dot, six, three, nine. Let's see, nine, red. 
nine green joker bait discards. We could play the like number hand. Let's see what else we have here would be. Let's see, discards. Three, six, nine with sixes. Gap. Three, six, nine. I'd probably start by discarding the three and just see what develops. Oh man, I'm sure there were different things I could have done with those tiles. Let me know how you would have handled that. Maybe even recreate it yourself and let me know what happens with yours. Oh, that was challenging. This is sprint one, by the way. So if you comment on it, write sprint one in the comment section below. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, seven, eight, bam, pair, nine crack. So nine or eight, bam, that's where I'd start. Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. There is some two, four, six, eight, but only one, two, and one, four. I would focus on consecutive run. So let's pass these three. Eight, nine, nine, eight. Discards. Okay, so there's seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass these three. Eight, nine. Oh my gosh, I would play the pair hand right across. We're going first left. Nine. Oh my gosh, look at that. We need nine, bam. I would pass one blind. Seven, I would stop the Charleston and ask for one. Nine, nine, eight, pair hand. Okay, nine, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven. We need a nine bam. Nine bam, discard ready to win. Wow, that was crazy. What a ride. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section below. Sprint two. Joker Northeast 278 248. Oh, those are cracks. 248 BAM pair 9 137. I'd start here. We have no 6, so I would focus on 789. 789. Pass the 1, the 3, and the East, probably. I would hold evens because if we get a 6, we could play 2468. Flower. Okay, I would not pass two wins. Let's see, eight, nine, seven, eight, eight, no six. So we focus on seven, eight, nine. Let's break those up. Okay, now we have tiles we can pass. Seven. There's a dragon. Seven, nine, seven, eight, nine. Eights with dragons. No, it's super weak. I would let it go. Eight. Two, so I would not pass that. Seven, nine, seven, eight, eight, nine. Seven, bam, pair. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, nine. I would, we're going across. We have to pass three. And I would risk it in this case. I'd risk passing like numbers. Crazy, crazy business. Okay, six, bam. <clears throat> we ended up with evens here, but we have a seven. I'd probably break, let's see. 
I'd probably break that up and pass two. One blind, eight, and we got a seven. We have all keepers. Let's see, we have eight, nine, seven, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, we have mixed suit Kongs. I'd probably focus on mixed suit Kongs and pass fully. Lap. Oh my gosh, look what we got. This was another stumper. Okay, but look. Seven, eight, nine. No gaps. Seven, eight, nine. Here's a seven, eight. And a seven. If we get a seven gam, we could do seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I would keep the seven. Discards. Oh my gosh, that was another stumper. Ooh, if you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. I wonder if we could have played that 998 hand again. Let's just see how many eights and nines are in here. I don't think it was as strong. No, just one other. Oh, really, right here. Nine bam, we had 998. We were, let's see, eight, seven, no nine crack. 9 bam, no 7 bam, 7 dot, no 8 dot. So that pair hand was not as strong as the one before, but still, that's pretty exciting. All right, now, let's see how things went with time. When you first get your dealt tiles, arrange them in a way that makes sense to you. I like to arrange them in this order. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, then the suits in numerical order. That way I can get the lay of the land. Then I target multiples, pair, pum, con. Then gather tiles to support the multiple and play a category that you will use most of my tiles. That is the best way to play this game. Now, sometimes you don't get a multiple in the deal. That's when you look for the predominant pattern. A quick way to find a predominant pattern is to look for like numbers. Say them in your head as you're reading through your tiles and a predominant pattern should reveal itself. Like if you have like numbers with threes and like numbers with fours, or maybe you have like numbers with sevens and nines. Well, with threes and fours, you play consecutive run, and with sevens and nines, you play odds. So use methods to help you identify the predominant pattern, then gather most of your tiles and play that category. When a multiple forms, reassess, target the multiple, and then gather supporting tiles and play a category that uses most of your tiles. All these techniques can help you make quicker decisions, and you don't even need to look at the card until you run low on discards during the Charleston. When you have less than three, pause, look at the card quickly, and then free up one more tile. You only need to identify three at a time. So practice at home with your tiles or practice online. There are ways that you can do that online. Look for links in the video description below for two platforms I highly recommend. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.